Hey everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the last video, we have published our build artifacts and now this is time to create our first release pipeline. We will use these artifacts to automate our deployment. So uh, let's navigate to Azure portal. I already have one app services in place. Let me click it and let me browse it first just to show you there is the default uh, things are running on this app service so let me browse it okay meanwhile uh, we will create our first release pipeline so uh, just like our uh, simple uh, build pipeline you need to go to the release pipeline so currently we don't have any uh, pipeline in place so let me create our first release pipeline so click on new pipeline okay so now let me start with the empty job and cancel it you can name it uh, let me name it uh, test stage or test environment okay so so as you can see the app service is running and this is the default template okay now we will automate and we will uh, see that after uh, automate our deployment how it looks so so you can see the stages uh, we will create the multiple stages release pipeline in the next video so for now you can uh, understand that uh, when it comes to real time there are multiple stages of your application so for example once you have done your uh, develop development it goes to the you know the test environment and when once the QA tested it goes to the a stage environment and then it goes to the production environment right so for now uh, we just have one uh, environment which is the test environment okay and we will deploy it to the technical voice app one okay so let me add the artifacts so add the artifacts so we will use the build artifacts that we have created in the last video so you can select the my app and we will use the latest artifacts and you can name it the alias whatever you want okay and let me add it and now click on the job here uh, you can see the agent job so as uh, it, it is same like that uh, once our build pipeline is running uh, it's uh, assign us some machine microsoft hosted machine to the pipeline to build our project it is same like it is exactly same it will assign some windows application or windows uh, machine that will uh, deploy this artifacts to the uh, as your app service okay so let me add a task and which would be uh, app service as your app service deploy at or you can see that web app as your web app you should add this one not this one this is different one let me remove it and now uh, we need to uh, select the service connection so I will uh, add the video how to add the service uh, connection with the Azure and Azure uh, Azure DevOps and Azure portal okay so let me select this one and app type is web app on Linux okay so this app service is uh, created on the Linux machine and select the app name so it will load the machine and then the stack and whatever and just save it okay so it's done 
path let me go to the pipeline and let me trigger it manually first just to test okay so create release and create so if you go to release one it is running and it is queued so currently it's waiting for the hosted windows so and then it will assign our application to the Azure App Service so it's running so the deployment is succeeded so let me navigate to our Azure App Service and refresh let me refresh it so you can see that our app is updated so the last thing is uh, you know uh, we have uh, triggered this pipeline uh, manually for example if let me go to there and uh, add it so I triggered manually by clicking on the create release so how to automate to the continuous delivery for example if I check in something or change anything in the repo and our build artifacts updated and then it will run so for this you just need to click on here and enable the continuous deployment now just save it and if you guy go to my repos and change anything in the file let's say in the ww root or in the js file just add let me add it test and commit and commit so now on this commit our pipeline will run our that will generate the build artifacts let me go to our pipeline so you can see it is now running so once it's completed it will trigger the let me duplicate it so it's completed now if I go to release pipelines and let me refresh it refresh it again it should run oh oh let me go back again to releases okay now it's running you can see so now you have seen that if I change something in my repos it triggers the build pipeline that generate the build artifacts and then because I have enabled the continuous deployment it automatically triggered the continuous deployment and it will deploy the changes to the app services okay so that's it for this video in the next video uh, I will create one more stage and uh, I will talk about how to handle multiple stages. Thanks. Bye-bye